So I know a lot of tech enthusiasts are showing the M1 MacBook and how it's the best laptop. And if you get any other laptop, you're getting a bad laptop. But you also have to consider that some people just don't have $1,000 to shell out for a MacBook Air or Pro, whatever you decide to get. And that, you know, their budget is pretty confined. And this is the best selling laptop on Amazon right now. It's around $350 at the time of recording. It's the complete base model. Um, it's a Canadian website. It's 450 there, so sorry people in Canada, but um, this is the best selling laptop on Amazon. I'm gonna do an unboxing experience of it. I have no expectations at all, but I do think that people who are on a budget, you know, this might be, there might be good reason of why this laptop is the best selling one on Amazon. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. It's been so long since I've done an unboxing video. I'm so excited. So Acer has always been good to me on this channel. Having trouble? Contact Acer first. Don't contact Amazon. Huh. Yeah, right. I'm going to contact you directly, Amazon. So first things first, um, in terms of the packaging, it's actually really nice. It's um, wrapped in this cloth material. I believe this is the charger. Um, so as you can see, it's wrapped in this nice cloth. It's actually really, really soft. My friend is texting me about Dogecoin. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, so once you take it out the cloth, first, I always got to smell my products. Mmm, smells like, smells like premium metal. It honestly smells much better than most products that come around this channel. Um, so let's go ahead and lift this up. Wow, 1080p. So first and foremost, this is a really nice looking laptop overall for $350. Um, I know people are gonna be doing the push test and whatever, but this is honestly pretty rigid. And honestly, I don't think people are really gonna be putting that much weight on a laptop. Um, let's go ahead and get this powered on, it has the full numpad. So before I actually turn this computer on, let's go ahead and go around the laptop. This thing has a lot of ports. So we have a USB-C port and a Kenison lock over here. And then on the other side, we have our power adapter, full-size ethernet slot, HDMI. Did I just say HDMI? Yeah, HDMI. What? This is a regular USB-A port. And I think this is USB 3.0 or 3.1. Um, oh, it's actually 3.1. Wow, impressive. It's really nice. And then we have a headphone jack. So. So far, so good. Um, the laptop is, it's got some weight to it, not gonna lie, but overall, like this is a pretty nice laptop in terms of aesthetics for $350. One thing you will notice though, is when you lift it up with on one side, I don't know why you would do this, but you can see that it kind of bends over to the side. It's whatever, I don't really care about that. All right, so uh, first uh, boot up here for you guys. Smells, smells like I'm on the beach. So let's look at some of the things that Acer says. I swear, I think I say Asus and Acer all the time, mix them up. But this says it has a thin design. Um, uh, I would say by today's standards, this is thin. It's not ultra thin, like an ultra book. Uh, aluminum top cover, I agree. Narrow bezel, mm, I mean, this is pretty narrow compared to like what I used back in the day. This is pretty narrow, but if you're expecting you know, that infinity display or stuff that you get on the Dell XPS or any basically modern laptop for like $800 or more, you're gonna get you know more thinner bezels, except for the MacBook. Um, has hey, Wi-Fi. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Stop. A little as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Microsoft Cortana, um, we have Wi-Fi 5, which is pretty good. I don't know why anyone would use Wi-Fi 4 anymore. Um, ISP wide viewing angle. So is this an IPS panel? If it is for $350, that's not bad. I think it is. Is it? Is it really IPS? Now you also might be thinking to yourself, why would anyone buy this laptop? Let me give you some good reasons because you're probably a tech enthusiast and all you own is really expensive stuff. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, some people just don't have the money to buy 
you know, thousand dollar laptops, you can say, oh, well, they should just save up. Well, guess what? People can't save up that much in that little time. Some people need a laptop now and their budget can only consist of, you know, maybe $400, $500. So for good reason, this is probably why it's like the best selling laptop on Amazon, right? It, in terms of value, what you're getting, I mean, so far for 350 here in the US at least, Canada, I'm sorry, but this is a pretty solid laptop so far. I mean, you get what you pay for, obviously, you know, if you're expecting, you know, super fa fast performance, thinner design, um, I guess a little bit better build quality, uh, you know, I don't know what you're expecting for $350, but I think for this price, this is a hundred percent acceptable. And another use case is for children. Wow. This thing, what? This is a two in one? Oh, no, that's definitely going to break. But wow, I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay, anyway, while Windows is setting up, second use case, right? With this whole pandemic situation, um, parents probably need to provide their kid a laptop, or I would say a separate laptop from their own main machine in order to do their schoolwork. And you have to realize that some people aren't going to shell out $1,000, $700 for their kid that's in you know elementary school, middle school, on a MacBook or like I said, a really expensive laptop just because it's better than everything else on the market. If I was a parent, honestly, I'm not giving my kid a MacBook for middle school, but if all you're gonna be doing is Zoom calls, um, basically writing text and documents, and that's pretty much it, you just need access to the internet, there's no reason for me to buy you like a super overkill laptop for $1,000. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. So. Buying a laptop where all you really need is a webcam, a microphone, access to the internet, and you know, you're able to do other things as well for a budget price this is perfect for that. So now I'm booting into the laptop. Those are just you know some use cases for people buying this laptop. I really do think parents buying this laptop is a really smart move um, for their younger kids. Maybe when you're in high school, tell your kids, you know, get off the couch, get a job. So this computer does come with Windows S, so just Think of it as in simplest terms, you can only download stuff from the Microsoft store, kind of like the Mac store, but Microsoft's version. So you don't have to stay on Windows S mode. You can just revert back to Windows 10 mode, but just do keep in mind that in terms of the specs that are in this machine, let me go over that first. The specs, Ryzen 3 3200U, it has four gigs of RAM, and the SSD, I believe, is 128 gigabytes. So, uh, oh, and we have AMD graphics as well, Vega 3. So we're not working with a lot here, so don't go overboard on what you download outside the Microsoft Store. But I'm gonna quickly take out, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to quickly take this computer out of Windows S mode and just put it in regular, regular Windows mode, God. I'm not editing any of that out. <laughs> so for those of you wondering, oh wait, I can just do this. <laughs> so for those of you wondering how to get out of Windows S mode, all you have to do is go to um, update and security, not pin to start, idiot. Um, update and security, go to activation, and then you can switch to Windows 10 home mode. Um, so you just wanna click go to store. It's gonna open up the Microsoft store. You say, get me out of this mode. I have just unleashed the entire internet in the palm of your hands. Good luck, and I'm not responsible for what you do online. Uh, so let's just go ahead and Google myself, or YouTube myself. So let's just watch my previous video here. Uh, well, guess that video got copyright struck. struck. Mind that this is a year and a half old product. I do believe a next generation of AirPods are coming out. But with that out the way are colors. Colors goes to the Galaxy Buds Pro because it does come in silver, black, and... I mean, speakers are good. If you're doing this for voice, you're going to be good. Don't listen to music on this. I mean, you can, but if you're trying to, you know, play this as, as like you're a DJ, pass. But, I mean, it gets the job done, right? Uh, so next up is the infamous typing test. Let's see how good it is to type on this keyboard. Uh, I've had my fair share of keyboards, honestly, not really, but uh, in terms of laptop keyboards, I would say that I'm not too picky, but 
let's just see how they are. Uh, so let's do a typing test. Not bad. Um, what I will say though, from laptops that are big, I would say like 15 inch. How big is this? 15.5? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is laptops that have the numpad included, even though this numpad is pretty short, um, I always have trouble typing on them because it just feels like the keyboard is squished in a little bit more. But I would take that hit, that, you know, I guess typing hit or keyboard hit for the numpad. I'm a person that loves the numpad. Um, one thing I also just noticed as well is that it does have backlit keyboards that are legible. <laughs> I know in some other Acer laptops, you know, with the silver on, I guess, clear uh, keycaps that they have, it's hard to see. But it's nice that on this laptop you have black keys with white letters and it's really easy to see in terms of the backlit um, light that shines behind it. You also have function row keys, plenty of them up here. I mean, this is nice. If I was a kid and I, my mom gave me this laptop for $350, I would be happy. I know some kids would be like, eh, mom, I'm watching videos on YouTube but everyone's talking about the M1. Like, come on, man, be grateful. Listen, it, I would be kissing my mom's feet if she get me this laptop when I was young. The laptop I got when I was young, shoo. In terms of like a video conference or a Zoom call, the box is gonna be like this big anyway. This is perfectly fine. Let me see if I can change the background a little bit. This is this is perfectly fine. This is fine. In terms of the microphone, uh, you guys tell me how it sounds, but in terms of the video quality, I mean, this is pretty much on par with laptops for like $1,000. Actually, I, I lied. The In terms of what it can do in the background and like focus the subject versus the background, uh, $1,000 laptops in terms of their camera technology, it's slightly bit better, but Honestly, like I said, you're going to be in a box this big. It's good enough, okay? It's going to be better, though. Now, I know some tech enthusiasts are going to be telling me, oh my gosh, where are the stress tests? Listen, $350. What, what, are you, what are you expecting to do with four gigs of RAM, okay? You have to understand the target audience for this laptop. This laptop is not really designed for, you know, extensive amounts of gaming. You know, you're not going to be playing high resolution games on this machine. You're not going to be trying to, you know, video edit on this machine or basically any type of professional level work that requires a lot of horsepower. This is a computer for simply accessing the internet, doing Zoom calls, you know, if you wanna watch the occasional YouTube videos, Netflix, stuff like that, you can. The speakers, honestly, people have headphones nowadays. Um, I don't think this has Bluetooth, but with the USB-A, adapters you can just add yourself a bluetooth dongle boom there you go you have bluetooth like i think this laptop is there is a reason why it is the best on the laptop on amazon i can see it now this laptop overall for 350 dollars like i said canada i'm sorry but this is a pretty good laptop 100 like in all seriousness this is a really good laptop um, like i said if i was a kid and my mom got me this laptop i would be over the moon would I have liked an M1 MacBook? Sure, but at the end of the day, I have access to the internet. It's much better than, you know, staring at my phone all day. I think this is a, this laptop deserves to be a, uh, the number one on Amazon. And just like the build quality as well, this is not what I was expecting for $350. Um, now, you know, it doesn't flex and whatnot. Sure, but you know, like I said, you get what you pay for. Anyway, so this is the Acer Aspire 5. It is the A51544R41B. Please, Acer, fix your naming scheme, but I mean, it's really just called the Acer 5. Acer Aspire 5. Um, like I said, I really was not expecting this feature at all. That was crazy. I do wish there was a um, fingerprint sensor, but you know, expectations. For expectations, this is completely okay. Um, but yeah, this is a, uh, it's a nice laptop guys. Seriously. As a tech enthusiast, I can say that for $350, the super base model buy for the 4,000 series, eight gigabytes, 256, 
it's a little bit harder to justify that one, but I still do think that is a pretty good buy as well. Uh, also just notice that even when the laptop is closed, you have the lights here so you can tell that it's sleeping. <laughs> it's just a nice laptop, Acer, seriously. Um, but this is the best-selling laptop on Amazon for April 2021. I think it deserves it. It's a little bit bulky. Wish they made a 13-inch version, but you know. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video of the Acer Aspire 5. Let me know what you guys think of this content, how I'm not trying to shove super expensive, latest, greatest technologies. More appealing to, I guess, the masses of people who would actually buy this laptop and find it informative. Um, I will compare this to, um, I guess, other Windows laptops that do come out in the future. Um, let me know what you guys think, but I think this is a pretty good buy for $350. But with all that being said, guys, I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. And as always, guys, much love. You don't got to break the bank to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That sounded really weird. I was trying to say, I don't know what I was trying to say, but just enjoy, enjoy life. That's all I want to say. Enjoy life. Enjoy the Acer Aspire 5.